Well, new this morning, the veteran owner of Sam and Louis Pizzeria off of Staples says DoorDashers took an order, but the customer never received it. Nope, they sure didn't. Sunrise reporter Cordero McMurray explains how this impacts small businesses. The dasher came in to get the order. Um, we confirmed the order by looking at their phone. We had them tap the confirmation. But after the dasher left, the customer called Sam and Louis Pizzeria after waiting 45 minutes, claiming they never received their $75 order. The customer then tried calling the dasher back. The number he was calling, they kept answering and then hanging up on him. So that started to seem very suspicious. Chavez says she tried calling the number herself and it was disconnected. She says because she's a new small business, the right thing to do was to have the customers order again and pick it up, losing a total of $150. It was $75, so it was substantial. So I had to make that twice, and then ultimately I didn't get paid for either order. Chavez says in the five and a half months the business has been open, she's had six similar incidents. She tells us she contacted DoorDash but didn't hear back. I also reached out to DoorDash Wednesday they responded saying in part impersonating a dasher or any delivery worker is totally unacceptable and we hope these bad actors are held accountable. Chavez says DoorDash can track who the dashers are. She says if the dashers aren't fulfilling orders correctly. I then ban them from the restaurant so they don't get any more orders from this facility. Chavez tells us she's thought about hiring drivers herself but says paying for the insurance and going through the process was too expensive and going through a third party such as DoorDash was more affordable. Reporting in Corpus Christi, I'm Cordero McMurray, Chris, Six Sunrise.